Chug, 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 chug. To another Thirsty Thursday edition of Dunmar's Podcast Drink of the Week. As always, this segment is brought to you by Food, Food, Bitter Sugar, and more. PA. Head on over there, tell your boys that Dunmar sent you to hook you up with all your thirsty needs. All right. Salute to those guys. They'll get you all set up right for college football, NFL, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right. I'm, you know, this is a first ever on this drink of the week. Um, you did not find this at the birth room. No. <laughs> so, Donald. Yes. What do we have? Right we here? have G Joy Saki. So, for those who don't know, Saki is Japanese for wine. So, a little bit of Japanese wine. Uh, Jumei, Jinjo, Jinsu. Close enough. Mm-hmm. Man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, so this is sake that was brewed in uh, Forest Grove, Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> Oregon it's, an Ameri- it's an American. It's an made American. Sake. American they, made they sake. solely solely focus on sake. Um, mm-hmm. I am interested to try this. It's seventeen percent alcohol by volume. Yeah. Now you know you're not so, Jason. Do not chug this. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is not like a beer. Not a drink of the week. Not a cocktail. This is a shot, and call it a day. And I was going to, but and with this one, they said that it's uh, supposed to be served chilled. It's vegan friendly. It's gluten free, and it's kosher. Also, well, they're hitting all um, the I'm more, I'm more focused on the sake that's undiluted and full strength. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this. Saki, I'm not a I'm not a huge Saki person. Damn, don't you pour that much? I, I ain't going anywhere. So you pour the <laughs> you pour the bottle? This ain't the whole thing, no. Mm-mm. It didn't anymore. I'll just pour it back in the bottle. Yeah. And marrying marrying alcohols. Why the smell I, drinking, wrong. I, I needed a shot glass. I should not be drinking sake <laughs> out of an actual <laughs> bottle, but mm-hmm. I didn't. You're good. Oh my god. It smells strong, boy. It it is. See you on the other side, gentlemen. (laughs) Whew, man. Where's the vodka? You got to mix this with something. Yeah. Yes, I'm with you, Jason. The smell and the taste is actually giving me goosebumps on my arm. Man, so it, I mean, on the back of the bottle, it's on the breakdown, it, mm-hmm. it does say um, you can make with cocktails. You can make with cocktails. Um, you can enjoy it neat or on the rocks with a bold, flavorful, with bold, flavorful foods. Also great in cocktails. I'm this not a huge sake. I'm not a sake person to begin with. Like I, I don't do sake typically. Um, even whenever I'm at your, um, you know, your local Japanese steakhouse. I pass on the sake. Um, so they squirting in your mouth. Pause. Yes. <laughs> Clip of the week. Clip of the week. Right there. No. Ooh, man. I mean, from a sake how, standpoint. How long can you hold it? <laughs> yeah. How long can you hold it? They just keep going, Jay. Mm. No. <laughs> I don't know why people look at me when that comes around the table. Like, you gonna do it? No. <laughs> no. Who that, wants that? to catch in their mouth? Probably Jason. No. Did that that? <laughs> I, I saw, like I said, I'm not a huge sake fan. If you like sake, this is probably right up your alley. Definitely would chill it um, as they instruct you to on the bottle. I'll go to. Okay. Um, my first time actually having sake. Never had it before. Um Dull taste, very, very, very dull taste to what I'm used to with wines. Um, maybe if you mix it with something, as they said, you can mix it with cocktails, it'll be a lot better. But right now, I'll give it a 2.5 out of six. Donald drank it like it was a wine. I, I <laughs> it's not supposed to be drank like a wine, but um, I've had sake before. I actually think I prefer it warm rather than chilled. Okay. Um, just how I've had it, but. I'd, I would like to try this in a cocktail and see how it turns out. So that could be something to do on my own time. But well, we got more than enough to do another yeah, review. Right. We can make sake yeah. bomb. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we can find something. Bomb. Yeah, we can find yeah. something to do. We got enough. So. Mm-hmm. 
It, it is what it is. I think I'm just going to go one. I'll go two, but it has potential in mixed drinks, I do believe. Mm-hmm. Is there any rating for this on Untapped? So Untapped is just for beer, but I did find a wine type wine. one that do have it. It's called Cellar Tracker. And they do it based on uh, 100%. And the average came out to 89.6%. So if you're a Saki fan, this is one to pick up and get. Because it's very highly rated, just not from these dumb marks on on this show. They Um, do it to 100%? They do 100%, yeah. On a scale of 1 to 100, what do you give? It's on percentage, yeah. Pick you up. Yeah. All right, Ooh, man. But well, that's that's this week's drink of the week. The hey, fire. winter's coming up. Saki is a good. I just shoveled snow. Let me warm up real quick. Type deal. Throw that back. Um, so yeah, those of you in the Northeast, get ready. Get your sake. Do a little shot. Rub you, warm you up, and get you back out there ready to go. So, with that, cheers. May your glass never be empty. <laughs> <laughs>